let's be honest, not everyone can spend thousands of dollars on every new watch purchase, especially someone who might just be getting into the watch collecting hobby or perhaps looking to spend $1,000 or so to assemble his or her first 3 watch collection. Fortunately, there are a plethora of options out there in the sub $500 watch category, with choices from the usual suspects as well as from several micro brands that offer worthwhile options in that narrow price range. Here we have compiled a selection of the best automatic watches under $500 that deserve to be on your radar, and perhaps even in your collection. When you hear someone describe a watch with hollowed lugs, an injection molded case, and a gem set in the dial, something hot undoubtedly comes to mind. Perhaps the last brand you consider having these cues is Timex, but here we are with the S1, arguably Timex's most interesting watch in recent years. From the top down, the case isn't anything too crazy, it looks like your standard circular watch case with a brushed bezel surrounding the dial and a crown at 3 o'clock. The only hint from the top down that something exciting is going on is the textured crown. Large cog-like teeth with smaller textured grooves run around the circumference of the crown making it both easy to grip and fun to look at. Beating away inside the S1 is a Miyota 9039 automatic movement. It's a workhorse not unlike the 9015, but without the date complication, so there's no phantom date. It runs at 28,800 beats per hour, sweeping the second hand smoothly around the dial. The 9039 also hacks and hand wins. My only gripe here is the size, and it's just how that size works for me. At 41mm with a wide open dial, it does look rather large on my 6.75 wrist, but it's not unwearable by any means. For me, the dressier style would work even better in a sub 40mm size. That said, the size isn't a deal breaker, and the watch doesn't look strangely proportioned, nor is it upsized in a way that ruins the design. Timex has been on a roll with their Hand Wound Marlins, American-made document series, fun military reissues, and of course the return of the iconic Q from the 1970. To me, the S1 continues that hot streak. $450 is arguably a tough price point for Timex because the brand generally operates at a much lower price and it opens them up to some seriously cool competition. The Timex Nobby XL Automatic is a stylish and affordable automatic watch produced by Timex, a well-known American watch brand with a rich history. This particular model combines a vintage-inspired design with modern features and automatic movement, making it an attractive choice for watch enthusiasts seeking an accessible timepiece. The Timex Nobby XL case is water-resistant to 100 meters. It's sized 41 millimeters wide and just around 12.5 millimeters thick with a lug-to-lug -lug measurement of right at 50 millimeters. The crown is in a screw down and one pull gets you the quick date adjustment, while two pulls let you set the time. It's not hacking seconds, though the minute hand is pretty receptive and without any wobble or oversensitivity when setting the time. The unidirectional rotating bezel isn't the easiest to grip or adjust, but it does look and feel top-notch in terms of quality of finish. Sharing the same Miyota movement found released in Waterbury, the Navi XL Automatic is the product of a brand that's been paying attention to the non-negotiables of buyers in this price range. In conclusion, the Timex Navi XL Automatic offers a stylish and affordable entry into the world of automatic watches. Whether you're a watch enthusiast or simply looking for a reliable and stylish daily wear watch, the Navi XL Automatic provides excellent value for its price. The Orient Bambino 38 comes in a more compact case with a 38.4mm diameter. The classic, round steel case stands out with a thin sloping bezel and a domed crystal, which is mineral glass, not sapphire. The crown is relatively large and operates easily. On the wrist, this moderately sized dress watch is worn elegantly and comfortably. At 12.5mm in height, the case isn't particularly thin but it'll still slide under a cuff rather easily. With the dome-shaped crystal, the profile of the case is balanced and visually thinner than what numbers suggest. The charm of the Bambino owes a lot to this convex crystal and equally domed dial. Overall, the look is consistent with the previous versions of the Bambino, but this model has been tastefully redesigned. The date is displayed via an aperture at 3 o'clock. The layout is classic, clean, and balanced, and as a result, the Orient Bambino 38 is perfectly legible. Note, however, that there is no luminescent material on this watch, which I consider a plus as I'm not fond of lump dress watches. Last, the water resistance is rated at 30 meters, which is fine considering the vocation of this watch, as you most likely won't swim with it, but you will be protected against exposure to water. 
The water-resistant caption on the dial seems almost anachronistic today, but contributes to the vintage feeling of the model, specifically with its cursive font. Obviously, at 275 euros, you won't get all the extras of a luxury watch. The movement decoration is simple. The crystals are mineral glass. The leather strap is stamped with an alligator pattern. But all in all, the Orient Bambino 38 does far more than just the job. The story of the Sternglas begins with a 16-year-old German student, Dustin Fonting, who worked at a small watch company. At age 21, he decided to start his watch brand. Sternglas, founded in 2016, is the fruit of years of effort. Let's start with the case. It is a 316 low-carbon steel with a nicely polished finish. It has a decent weight to it, but it didn't bother my wrist. While they could have used a 904 low-carbon steel, which has a better stain resistance because of the added nickel, it's more expensive. 316 lighter steel is an affordable and economical alternative. Next, let's move to the dial. The dial is painted with proportional indexes, numbers, and signs. It's protected with domed sapphire crystal, and I must tell you it makes it difficult to read the watch. On the other hand, it's scratch-resistant, and it gives the plain dial playful vibes. The minimalist dial isn't boring. The crystal shines in the sun, which I find enjoyable. The strap smells like real leather but I have my doubts. It's comfortable on the wrist but sometimes I'm afraid it will fall off because it feels like paper. The diameter of the watch is 38 millimeters. It nicely fits on a slender wrist. These proportions make the watch wearable for a wide range of people with different wrist sizes. The 43 millimeters lug to lug size is comfortable. It does not fit comfortably under the shirt cuff because of its 12 millimeters height but with a rolled up shirt it still is a perfect casual yet elegant combination. The heart of the watch is a Miyota 821A. It's a 21 joules automatic movement with a hand winding option but without a hacking movement. Impressing design connoisseurs, the Sternglas Neos Automatic recently won the International IF Design Award in Bauhaus style. The Laco Casablanca is a pilot's watch produced by Laco, a German watch manufacturer known for its historical ties to pilot watches and aviation instruments. The Casablanca collection is inspired by classic pilot watch designs and is celebrated for its robust construction, legible dial, and dependable movements. The Laco Casablanca features a stainless steel case with a brushed or polished finish, providing a durable and clean appearance. These watches are characterized by their pilot watch design cues, including large Arabic numerals, bold luminous hands, and clear minute markers. The overall design exudes a sense of vintage aviation heritage, paying homage to classic pilot watches. The watch comes with a comfortable leather strap, adding to its classic and rugged appearance. The choice of strap material and color may vary by model, allowing you to select one that complements your style and comfort preferences. While designed as a pilot's watch, the Casablanca is versatile and suitable for everyday wear. In conclusion, the Laco Casablanca is a collection of classic and rugged pilot watches that honor the brand's aviation heritage. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Base Watches for more insightful content about the world of horology. And if you're interested in any of the watches featured in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description for more details. Until next time, keep ticking and stay stylish with Base Watches. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.